Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy, and welcome back to the Soul Drop. And today we're gonna be doing a versus video between the Nike KD16 and the Adidas AE1. So of course, if you guys remember a couple months ago when Anthony Edwards was asked, uh, who do you want to wear, change your shoe? He said KD, and the KD was like, nah, <laughs> you know what I mean? So we're gonna be seeing whose shoe is better as far as the price goes. The AE1 is $120, and then the uh, the KDs are 160 bucks. So there is a 40 dollar price difference uh, but they are both really really nice performers uh, and if you guys do want to cop any of these shoes i try to leave the free link in the description box if you guys do choose to get either of these shoes it does help me out if you click on the link to buy these shoes or also you guys can click on the uh, the products I like the product link, you know, with the picture uh, underneath this video if you guys want to as well. It does help me out because they are affiliate links. And as always, thank you guys so much for all of the support. Uh, but yeah, basically KD, Kevin Durant versus AE, Anthony Edwards. Let's get it started right off with the track, Yones. So uh, as far as the KD16 goes, I do have this fully translucent outsole, right? So uh, I did need to break it in. Uh, when I first got it, it wasn't amazing, you know, but once I started to break it in, it got really, really good but it wasn't top tier right but uh i have i have a feeling that's probably to do with this translucent rubber because some of you guys were saying the solid rubber was really really good for you guys with the kd16 but in my experience obviously i don't have the solid rubber outsole uh so uh that's just you know take it with a grain of salt of course but here in the ae1 uh, you don't have to break it in at all it's great right out the box and has top tier traction if you're playing on a clean court this is one of the best shoes to get you know if you want an amazing bite right so really really nice for a clean court we have this really enlarged herringbone traction pattern for the aes and we have kind of like gears you know for uh the kd16 uh, if you're playing on a dusty court however the kd16 for me was picking up a good amount of dust you know what i mean if you kept up with your wipes it would be good but it would pick it up pretty fast um but also it wasn't biting through dust that well either so uh that's just my experience with the kd16 with this translucent out so uh, again like i said i haven't played with a solid rubber which i heard was better right but of course the a1 really really good on dust as well you know it bites through dust really well it doesn't pick up dust that quickly either and if it does pick up dust it's a very very easy and slight wipe so uh dust is better clean court is better as far as durability goes i feel like probably the kds are better you know we have i guess more grooves you know more surface area that's touching the ground and also the rubber seems to be a little bit harder the AE1 is actually kind of soft so i guess uh that's where the kds win for a durability but um you know it doesn't seem like it'll be that much better and also if you're playing on an indoor court the AE1 is better right so there's that moving on to the heel to toe transition uh, so they're both pretty smooth and uh here in the heel they have a nice curved shape right same thing here in the a1 it is caged so there isn't as much compression but still kind of smooth here in the a1 the kd16 is a little bit smoother in the heel because of this exposed uh foam so we have nice compression and then coming here into the forefoot we have a nice curved shape in the kds and also in the a1 right and also another thing that i like about the AEs is the spring back right you can see the full length plate uh kind of like through this translucent outsole right you can see that kind of like it's like an x shape you know so that helps keep it springy the kds are a little bit more stiff though you know we can see this plate that kind of starts here in the midfoot and goes all the way here into the forefoot and uh, it's a little bit stiffer because i don't know why actually you know maybe it's because of this plastic that they're using you know uh, but it's a little bit hard to bend right but it still has a, a nice springiness to it you know so they are both really nice for heel to toe transition it's just the kd16 feels a little bit stiffer in the forefoot but overall it's a pretty similar feel and also it's a little bit softer here in the heel for the kds as well now moving on to the cushioning setup so uh i, I would say they're a little bit different in feel and of course cushion is subjective right uh so of course core feel the ae1 is way better it has the best court feel on the market right now the kd16 court feel is still pretty good it's just I would say it's like average court feel, you know, a little bit better than average. Uh, but of course, if you're looking for like uh, better impact protection or a little bit of bounce, you know, or I guess good step and comfort, the KDs are gonna be a little bit better, right? The A1 still has nice step and comfort, right? If you look underneath the insole, you can see, you know, the exposed jet boost, right? Especially with the cutout, the large cutout in the heel. And also the strobe boards are really, really soft as well. So step and comfort is still really nice in the AE1s, but of course you can't really beat air strobo, right? So in the KDs, we got air strobo in the heel and then a very large volume zoom unit here in the forefoot, which is pretty easy to feel as well. So uh, yeah, you can have that, you know, nice kind of bounce 
uh, in the heel and also in the forefoot and stepping covered in the in the KDs. Uh, so I guess you know in pretty much every category uh, the KDs are better. You know. Uh, it has more compression here in the heel. Uh, the AE one is kind of stiff, you know, uh, it has better step in comfort. It has a little bit more bounce. It has better impact protection. It's just, it's a little bit higher up off the ground, right? So of course, you know, in my personal opinion, I just, I really like court feel. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm gonna lean towards the AE1 a little bit, but like I said, it is subjective. They're both really nice cushioning setups. And of course, you know, if, with the AE1s for me, it's still like really nice overall cushion, you know, because uh, step and coverage is still really nice. Impact protection is adequate for me and all that. So uh, yeah, for me, like I said, I'm gonna lean towards the AE1s because it still covers all that with having you know really good core feel uh, but if you want like a little bit more you know step in comfort especially with the air strobo a little bit more bounce and impact protection the kd16 is going to be the better option of course you know so uh there's that moving on to the upper so uh yeah the kd16 for 160 bucks with this especially with this mesh and also like whatever is surrounding like it's like a synthetic material surrounding the toe box it's just the quality is not great. You know what I mean? The AE one, of course, also the quality isn't the best, but it's $40 cheaper, you know? And in this orange color, we have this kind of like felt material, which gets really, really dirty. But in the Stormtrooper color that I have, it's a, it's a reflective material, right? Also, another thing I don't really like about the uh, material for the AE one is with these plastic wings, you guys, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but there's a lot of like scuff marks right here in the back of the shoe, like in the heel and also like, right here. You know, so that's one thing I don't like either, you know, and also this gets really dirty. Uh, but as far as like how it feels on foot, they're both pretty dang nice, right? The KD-16 mesh material is actually pretty thin, but also really supportive. It feels like there's an underlaying material that's kind of like glued down. Uh, and then here in the AE-1, same thing, right? Like especially in the toe box, it's really thin, but then obviously with the plastic, it does get a little bit thicker, but it's actually kind of soft still, you know, and malleable. It doesn't feel stiff really at all. And then uh, one thing I love about the KDs, however, the tongue is really plush. You know what I mean? It has a nice bit of padding. It feels really comfortable on top of your foot. And then here in the ankle area, it, it's just like average amount of padding, but it's still like not bad, you know, especially comparing it to the AE one. The AEs, you know, the tongue is pretty minimal. And also here in the back of the shoe, there's really not a lot of padding. But one thing that I do like about the tongue though, is that it's held in place with two elastic bands, you know, on both sides of the tongue. So it, it keeps the tongue in place and also kind of like stretches over your foot, giving you a better fit. So um, yeah, as far as the quality goes, they're both not the best but you know they both feel uh, pretty nice on foot it's especially like here in the toe box but then like in the back of the shoe uh, the kds are a little bit more cozy and a little bit more soft you know and then moving on to the fit i went up half a size for the kds and i went true to size for the ae one and they both fit me extremely well and uh they're pretty much the same exact fit you know i, I put on both of the shoes at the same time and uh they're very very similar in fit right so they're both pretty dang narrow as you guys can see you know also also a very snug fit here in the toe box and lengthwise they're both really good for me uh when i went up half a size for the kds and true to size for the ae one so here in the toe box is a really really a uh, nice snug fit also here in the midfoot so it gets a little bit narrow right so uh both of these shoes fit me like a glove and if you want a nice snug fit and then go up half a size for the kds and true to size for the a1 right uh, so there's that moving on to the support and lockdown support and lockdown also is really really nice for both of these shoes uh so for lateral containment you know as you guys can see there's a good amount of lateral counters you know, especially with this material uh, my foot was not coming out of the footbed here in the forefoot here in the midfoot and also here in the heel there's an internal tpu heel counter in here in the a1 same thing you can see i mean you have this plastic wing you know so uh, your foot is not really coming out of the footbed you're pretty much covered you know uh, and also lateral stability i was good to go in both of the shoes they're both around yeah they're the same width you know so lateral stability is good in both of the shoes and heel lockdown is really good as well i didn't really experience any like terrible heel slippage or anything like that although i would say the ae1 is a little bit better because you have this kind of like it is a high top design i guess but it's like it feels like a low top because it's a really thin material, you know? So the supporting lockdown is really good in both of the shoes. And now moving on to the weight. Uh, the AE1 is actually really heavy. It comes in at like 15 point, 15.5 ounces, right? Uh, so it's really, really freaking heavy. And the KDs are like a little bit heavier than average, I think. At 13.2 ounces. Uh, so yeah, it's like two ounces heavier for the AE1. And you can definitely feel the difference in weight. 
Uh, however, the A1 feels a little bit more responsive, especially if you're playing on a dusty court, right? The, I really didn't like playing in the KDs, especially when I was playing on a dusty court because it was just sliding around a lot. The A1, really, really responsive. It's lower to the ground, supports really, really good. The KD is still really responsive, however, right? Especially when I was playing on a clean court. So what I'm trying to say is that the, uh, although the AE1 is heavier in weight, like the number weight, it feels a little bit more responsive because it feels lower to the ground and the traction is just better. So, uh, but like I said, uh, the KDs are lighter and they are still responsive. So there's that. Moving on to the ventilation, uh, they're both not the best. You know, the AE1 is uh, pretty hot, you know, especially they're saying there's ventilation holes through this plastic, but um, it doesn't really help, you know? And the KDs, you know, it's also not the best. It's uh, like this mesh material, there's a little bit of airflow, but everywhere around the shoe, it's like there's really no airflow. So I would say it's around the same for ventilation. As far as aesthetics go, definitely the A1. A1 looks amazing. The KDs, uh, these look pretty dang good, but I don't know, I feel like the A1 just looks better. So tell us what you guys think looks better down in the comment section below. So wrapping things up, uh, yeah, so for me, in my personal opinion, the AE one's better. You know, the price is better. And of course, you know, like I said, I like the cushioning setup a little bit better because it covers all all the categories for cushion, right? It's still nice for impact protection. It's adequate. Step and coverage is still great. And it is lower to the ground, you know? Just in my personal opinion. And for me, also in my personal opinion, traction is the most important aspect of a performance basketball shoe. And the AE1 just has better traction. The KD16, like I said, is pretty dang solid. However, you know, with this translucent, it's not the best, you know, especially comparing to the AE1. Uh, so because of those reasons, you know, uh, I would pick the AE1, you know, but of course the KD16 is still a really nice solid shoe, especially if you want a little something, something a little bit more from your cushioning setup, right? Uh, but anyways, that about concludes this versus video. Again, if you guys do want to cop, I'll try to leave the link in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.